going on everyone my name is Ryan and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video where today I'm actually going to be showing you guys my top 5 favourite modded cards within GTA 5. All the links that you are going to need to download this mod for yourself will be in the description of this video. Of course people may agree or disagree on this video but these are my personal top 5 favourites and I will tell you why within the video. So anyway guys if you could support the video by leaving a like it would be greatly appreciated and also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already for top daily GTA 5 videos. So with that being said guys let's get in with today's video. So coming in at number 5 we have the Jaguar XKRS. Now this car is really really nice. Now you're probably wondering why have I put this car at number 5. Well all the other cars I personally find are a lot better than this car but the Jaguar is really really cool. The interior for this vehicle is insane. It's been really really well coded and it actually sounds really really nice. The thing I like about the Jaguar is it doesn't sound like the car it's actually been replaced by. Some of the mods in GTA 5 Online may have like the car but it will sound like the exact car it's replaced. This sounds completely different. It has had brand new audio files and it sounds really really nice. Now as for the controlling of the Jaguar it's okay. It's not the best. If you're going around a sharp turn you probably will lose control or you won't manage to turn it. But in, for the car in general it's really really nice. Unfortunately I did add a spoiler to it. I'm not too sure I like the spoiler but nevertheless the car in general is amazing. It flows really really nice. You can see I just missed a drift there and that's why I mean you will probably you will probably fail stuff like that but it hits a really really nice top speed for top speed it's really controllable it's just if you're going around the corner you might lose it but in general I really really do like this car and that is why I've chose this car to be number five coming in at number four we have the 2013 LaFerrari now the reason I put this as number four is for some reason when you add a few modifications to it and you go into first person it does actually glitch out your view other than that, this car is really, really awesome. You can see now, I literally can't see a thing, but I think it's because I added a mod to it, which is the limo windows. But if you don't add that, it is perfectly fine. The interior is absolutely amazing, and it drives like a beast. It's a really, really nice car. I like how the door opens upwards rather than outwards. I love them type of cars, but it drives really, really cool, and the interior is really well coded. As you can see, the speedometer actually does work, which is quite impressive in a modded car. Again, this car sounds nothing like the car it's replaced, and I really, really do like this Ferrari. And I wish cars like this were in GTA 5 Online, because some of these mods are actually better than some of the cars I've actually seen playing in GTA 5 Online. As you can see, the car is absolutely phenomenal. It hits really high speeds, and it's actually quite controllable, I was surprised. But you can actually literally blow it through Los Santos. And as you can see, I use the mod where there's no cars on the street. But it's really, really cool. You can have the odd crash like that. Again, the sharp turn, it's not the best for. But nevertheless, reaching top speeds, you should have no problem whatsoever. Going down the motorway, you will probably win majority of the races in this car. Moving into number three, we have yet another Ferrari, which is the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. It's a really, really nice Ferrari. Now, my friend said this kind of car is something you'd probably drive to a meeting if you're really, really rich. But I thought this car was amazing. It sounds amazing. The interior is absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, the thing that kind of let this car down is was the redness inside it. I weren't too keen on the red. But nevertheless, as you can see, this car is an absolute beast. And you'll see me driving through the airport. This actually, this is one of the cars I can actually say has a ton of control over it. As you can see in a second, I weren't really paying attention to me watching the screen. I was looking at something else at the time of recording this video. I nearly hit that little thing fucking swerve right past it this car is insane and this is one of the cars i could honestly say i would drive all the time in gta it's got perfect handling the thing that does let it down is it doesn't reach top speeds like the other two vehicles i've showed you it would probably keep up to the jaguar but the other ferrari i would probably say it wouldn't but nevertheless it's a mid top range class car it's 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 pretty fast and it's controllable that's what i like about this car is the fact that you can really really have good control over the vehicle so anyway guys moving into number two 
So number two guys, we have the Lamborghini Aventador. Now this is one of my personal favourite cars within real life, let alone GTA 5. Now as you can see, this is really, really well coded. It looks exactly like a Lamborghini Aventador. Now unfortunately, the only thing that lets this mod down is this vehicle actually replaces the Zentorno. But whenever you drive it, it sounds exactly the same as a Zentorno. But I wouldn't really let that get to me because as you can see, inside the interior is absolutely amazing. The speedometer works and it looks absolutely amazing. And it has a lot of handling over it. The Aventador has always been known to have really good handling. And I, you can just literally see throughout the video, it hits top speeds like no tomorrow. And it's just really, really quick. So we decided to take the vehicle on the freeway just to give it the last final test. And as you can see, again, it's probably not the fastest car in the world. But the good thing is, it looks really, really nice. It is actually customizable, which is really good as well. And it also has a lot of features that, you've, that the Aventador would have in real life as well. And as you can see, it's got pretty good handling. I wasn't paying attention to the screen there yet again, so I did actually like hit a bump. But nevertheless, the handling on the vehicle is really, really good. I personally like the Aventador. If it wasn't for the car I was going to show you next, I would probably rate this number one. But the next car I do have to show you guys is absolutely insane. The handling is insane. The braking is insane. It's just a phenomenal car overall. But again, as for the Aventador, I would highly recommend it. It looks so, so nice. It looks as good as the Zentorno, if anything. And there's not actually many issues with the Lamborghini Aventador either. It looks really, really cool. It has the doors that go upwards as well because it's exactly like a remake of the Zentorno. But apart from that, guys, it is a really, really awesome car. You can see again, I did miss a sharp corner there. So it's really good for handling. I would highly recommend downloading this one if you haven't already. So moving into the final vehicle, we actually have the McLaren P1. Now, this car is absolutely insane. Yes, it does remake the... I think it's called the T20. It's a, it's a pretty fairly new car in GTA 5. But look at the interior. Everything is to its standards. It's high quality. It looks really, really nice. And the controlling on this vehicle is unreal. So as you can see, I decided to come down to the docks. Because this is the area where you're going to need to be braking and turning. And as you can see, it actually has a working spoiler as well. And when you brake, it does actually allow you to brake. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, yes, obviously it will. It's a freaking remake of the T20. Yes. I know but the fact it looks like a McLaren it drives like a McLaren and it breaks like a McLaren as you can see it can take corners like a beast if you're going to take one of these into a race you would win it more or less every single time you know competing with corners because it hits a really top speed really really quickly it breaks really really quickly and that's what you really want in the car if you go in top speed you want to be able to take them corners as fast as you can and this car is going to allow you to do so so anyway guys, in the comment sections below, let me know what car you like the most in this video. And also, if you have any other suggestions for a top 5 series in GTA 5, be sure to leave them down in the comment sections below. So anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video.